This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this video, we're going to create a skeleton for our crow model. We're picking up where we left off. We just finished texturing our crow. And we're going to turn our renderer viewport 2.0 off, and we're just going to go to our default quality. And just look into a shaded view. We don't need to see the texture while we're drawing a skeleton or, or placing our joints in here. In fact, the texture can actually be kind of distracting. We're going to start in the side view. And we'll just draw our joints. Let's go to a wireframe. And we'll choose Skeleton Joint Tool. And it is important that we pick a decent orthographic view to draw our joints in. That way that we know that they're positioned properly and they'll rotate properly. So I'll add my first joint right there, and that will be the root joint of my crow. Bring another one up, and then we'll bring one up to the top for the head. And when I'm drawing my joints, as long as I click with the left mouse button and hold the left mouse button, I can relocate that joint. So we can actually move it around interactively before we commit to the change. Now, even after I let go of it, I can middle mouse and still move it. And then when we're done, we'll just hit enter and that completes the joint chain. And as I mentioned, this is my root joint. So that will move all of the other joints that I've created. Now, ultimately, everything will be either directly or indirectly a child of this root joint. So this will be used to move the entire skeleton around. Now let's draw the wing and I'll switch to front view and we'll click our joint tool to make that active again. And we'll place our joints using the geometry as a reference. So we're actually putting a joint wherever we have an edge loop. And then we'll hit enter. And when we go into our perspective view to look, the skeleton itself fits pretty good. It's, it's very close to being inside there, but we could position it better. And we'll do that. We're going to move that forward a little. And I also want to change its rotation so that it matches the geometry. You can see right now, if he were to flap his wings, that would kind of bring it straight down, whereas we want it to kind of angle back so it goes with the flow of the surface. So let's rotate the entire chain. And again, I'm just rotating it from the root of this chain, and all of the children will follow along. And we want to keep it centered in our geometry as much as possible does not have to be exact. And we could move some of the individual joints as well in order to get the skeleton to follow the geometry better. And I'm just using the up and down arrow keys to go through that selection. It's actually just going through the hierarchy. That makes it very easy to traverse the parent-child relationships there and move those joints accordingly. That looks pretty good. We might do a little bit more adjustments to that, but that's fine for right now. Let's move on to the leg. And we'll switch to a side view. And I'm switching to the side view so that I can get a more preferred angle on my joints. We'll hit enter. And that completes it. If I had drawn this in a front view, then it wouldn't rotate with the skeleton of the character. And you can see as I raise this up, this is exactly how a crow would lift his leg. However, since I drew that in a side view, the joints have been placed along the YZ plane. I'll just use my up arrow to get to the root of this joint chain. And we'll translate that over. And then I want to rotate it so that it fits into the geometry. And instead of using object, I'm going to switch to world so I can translate this a little easier. And then rotate that. 
again, just so that it fits within that geometry nicely. Let's switch back to the side view and we'll draw a toe, grab my joint tool. And I want to be careful that I don't choose this joint. If you do, it will extend the skeleton. Eventually we will parent that up, but for right now, I want to leave it separate. And let's move this up and drop that there. I left a gap in between there so that when we do parent it, another bone will be drawn there. And let's go to the top view and look. And of course, that joint is placed along that YZ plane again. And so let's move this over. And that fits nicely with the middle toe there. And I'll do Control D to duplicate that joint chain and slide that over for the other toe. And again, duplicate it and bring it over for the inside toe and just rotate that over. And we need to grab one more for the back toe. So I'll duplicate that, rotate this 180 degrees. I'll just type that value in there and shift that to the back. And we're just about there. We can now start to take these joint chains and put them together. And let's start with the toes. With the root selected, I'll then select the end of the chain of the leg, and we'll just hit P to create a parent-child relation, and you can see that little bone drawn in between. We'll do the same for the other three toes, and I'm going to select all three of those roots, and then the end of the leg, and just do a parent there. And then we'll parent the leg to the body, and then the wing to the body. And let's add another joint back here for the tail. We'll do so in the side view. Let's grab our joint tool, drop that there, and hold shift, select our root, and hit P, parent that up. And like with everything, we really only need to build half of the skeleton and we have tools to mirror that over to the other side. But before we mirror that, we will need to clean up our joints a little bit. But for now, this gives us our basic skeleton, and we can continue from this point. So right now, we'll take a break and come back to this, and this concludes our first part on creating a skeleton.